Hey guys, this is Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're Zephyr's Travels, and we're still here in Florida. We've moved from the Tampa RV show to a undisclosed location um, for the next few days. And but we wanted to uh, share some more video with you from the Tampa RV show. So in this video, we're going to show you Class C um, units, and we're going to start with some inexpensive ones, um, and we're going to go up to some very expensive ones, and. Well, we'll watch it with you and add some comments as we watch. So, join us. Okay. So these units are, are Jayco units, and we're going to show you the first one is a is a uh, Class C on a Chevy chassis, and this one sells for about sixty thousand Jayco, uh, twenty five foot. Class C. Class C. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time because the. Some of the videos are a little blurry. So it has a nice dining out area. Kitchen over here. And corner bed, which makes this unit seem very large. Uh, the other corner goes to the bathroom, which is It nice. has a mirror because Diane's fixing her hair. And for, what, $60,000 <laughs> well, for, the for a Class C. Right. It's on a Chevy chassis. Not probably too bad of a deal. Uh, great way to get in if you want want to get into a motorized type of unit you um, you're going to so, so this unit had a slide out on the side over and a so corner bed and, and one in the back and, and then the other corner was the bath like and then the dinette right and then it had additional yes, sleeping area happens. above the driver's compartment so you could probably see the sense this next unit is on a mercedes chassis and this one sold for a hundred thousand and it had a slide out on the side a different layout in the back so we're sitting in a Jayco uh, Class C. It's on a Mercedes chassis, and this is the Melbourne 24 TP. It sells for basically $100,000. You get $5 of change back from that $100,000 bill. Um, it's a 24 foot um, unit, and it's it's pretty nice. There's some nice features in this that uh, we will show you. Um, a little bit different than a lot of your Class C's where they typically have some type of bedroom in the back. This one has a kind of a multi-purpose room in the back. And then a front area here um, where you can sit and watch television or whatever. So we'll show you around. In the front, you have three storage cabinets, overhead storage cabinets, which actually are very nice because they have a slide out drawer in them. Yeah. So you can store a lot of stuff. The cabinets are a good size, and this makes it very easy. I thought these cabinets, there was a neat idea to have those slide outs, but if you're someone with your height, <laughs> it's <laughs> kind of hard to see anything what's on those shelves. Right. I'll show you the kitchen. So this is the kitchen area, so you've got a round sink, two burner stove, convection oven, convection microwave, over the door there's a television, and your Dometic refrigerator, Norco refrigerator. And then in the back, you've got a kind of a multi-purpose. It looks like it could be set up as a, a dinette area with uh, a table. There's a spot for a table in the middle. I didn't know. Has, I didn't uh, think that this was that great of a design because the, the the dinette area in the back, you, you know, really wasn't any back cushions above. or anything. Mm-hmm. Just like the airline. <laughs> Sucks cabinets. Yep. And then right here is the bathroom so you've got a, a full walk-in shower it's not a wet bath 
and sink. You know, for a hundred thousand. Now, for this one being a hundred thousand dollars, the other one being sixty thousand dollars. The big difference between the two is the Mercedes chassis. Yeah. I oh. think um, functionality. I thought the other one had a better layout. Mm -hmm. You know, in a small space like that, it's you know when you put the bathroom right in the middle, mm -hmm. it really chops it up. Yeah. Now these are class C's, but these are what they call a super C, and they're on an international uh, truck chassis. And so the, the the advantage to these are that they can pull um, 10, 20,000 pounds. So we're going to show you a couple of these. This one, this first one we're going to show you was pretty nice in that it had uh, center bunks, but it, a fair, fair amount of room. You're get, really getting into something that's, you know, in the same class as a class it's A. probably the only slunch you can do to these like with these layouts. Yeah, this is a bunk bed. Oh, okay. But you can get rid of it. Right. Again, this would be a giant wardrobe mm -hmm. or an office. This unit is 40 feet long and the sticker on it was, I think, 350000 That's pretty um, it. Wasn't it? It was oh, pretty expensive. Right. Yeah, it was pretty expensive. Um, so you're, 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 again, you're buying a, a big heavy duty truck Usually chassis washer and, dryer, I'm guessing. and yeah. that is one of the things that, uh, you know, adds to the cost of one of these units. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I guess if you want something that, that can tow, you know, this is probably a better choice than a Class A. More? For the same amount of money. Mm hmm So, this is the bathroom. And it's got a good corner shower, it's a nice corner shower. I like the gray interior. It's the same interior we've seen with yeah. the, um, you know, yeah. whatever you call them, uh, embellishments. Three hundred eighteen thousand. Three hundred eighteen. Mm-hmm. Now this one takes your toy hauler to a new level. This was interesting oh, because it, um, it was one of those super C's, but it had a lift gate in the back um, and became a toy hauler because they're so high ladder. off the ground. Mm-hmm. You know. It had a TV in it. Yeah. Toolboxes. Tool boxes. Ladder up to the roof. A door. You think I could put a Mini Cooper in there? Probably not long enough. Yeah. Okay, now this one. These are Renegade RVs. And this next one here. This is the one that had the gloss finish in the cabinets. Oh yeah. How much was that? I don't remember. I think it was five thousand dollars. No, five hundred thousand. No, it wasn't five hundred thousand. Oh, the option was the option. <laughs> the option was fifty one hundred. Right. No, I think this was another one that was in the three hundred and fifty thousand range. Oh, okay. But that you know, like you said, that seemed like a lot of money for glossy cabinets. Right, right. Three hundred sixty-four thousand for this one. Oh, okay. So it's got a you know, full-size residential refrigerator, um, stackable washer and dryer. Washer and dryer. So these are definitely you know, long, long-stay units. You could you know, probably full-time in it, or if you're a type of per type of people that were on the road for quite a while. You'd be very comfortable. Yes, very. I think it was a king size bed too. Big bath, nice size shower. Yeah, that looked like a king size bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a good size bed. All the cabinetry on the side. Gloss. Yes. I didn't care for the gloss. No. Entry point. 
tree. Huge pantry. Large pull-out pantry. Mm-hmm. What were you saying about the high glove cabinets? Um, it's an option for fifty-one hundred dollars. Oh. I wonder when it comes with all the water. In the previous walkthrough, had the, the didn't have the high gloss cabinet, so that would be what they would come with. More of a satin finish. Mm hmm But I prefer that. Yeah. I liked what they were doing with these dinettes with the um, booth-style cushions that wrap around the edge to the outside wall. Yeah, I did too. All right, well, that's it for the Class Cs. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did and you want to see more like this, what should they do? Subscribe to our channel. That's right. And be sure to... Hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd like you to follow along in our journey. So until the next time, oh, plus give it a thumbs up That's if right. you enjoyed the video. That's right. Give us give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate that, and we will see you down the road. Bye, everybody. Bye.